Hey, what is up, guys, and welcome back to Tigers Franchise episode maybe 10. I don't remember. Sorry for the late upload today. Work was rough. Anywho, as we go into the lineups here, uh, we got we switched it around a little bit. So Riley Green's going to move to the three hole. I know he's not hitting well, but we're going to kind of switch it up because what we've been doing isn't working. Excuse me. Vargas will bat fourth because he has the most homers. He seems to be hitting for the most power this year. 417 slugging. Medals will be five. And then Veerling, who's been red hot this year, is going to move up to six. Rosario moves to seven. And right now that I'm kind of regretting paying him, but I, I know it'll it'll pay off for us. Haas will stay in that eight hole against righties. And against lefties, Riley Green's going to bat lead off, I guess. I don't know. Maybe Veerling will bat lead off against lefties. Miggy's still going to hit for now. I don't know how much longer that's going to last. Um... We got Haas, 5-hole. He's great against lefties. Rosario's going to slide all the way down to the 6-hole. Vargas will hit 7th and play left against lefties. Torque is going to hit 9. I want him to stay 9 because he's having a good year, and I don't really want to risk anything with that. Badu will hit 8th for us. And we'll continue on. I also, for the uh, trade block, I put that we're seeking relief pitchers and third baseman, which is, I think, are two weaknesses. Not even a starting third baseman. We have third baseman, but guys who can play it. But I'd like to get a maybe a prospect or something in here. And we'll continue on with our sim and critical situations. And bottom of the tent, two outs, and we're trailing by one, and we'll hop in. Austin Meadows at the plate. He's 0 for 3 with an RBI on the day. As you look at our rankings, and hey, we're terrible again, but I think we can turn it around here. As Meadows steps in, chance to win the game, well, tie the game, home run would win it. Ball won to Meadows. I haven't played in a couple of days, so you'll have to excuse me here. I'll get into the swing of things. So here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Circle change. And it's one and one now. I probably should have pinched it for him, but whatever. We're committed now. Two and one. Hunter Green fires eight innings, a two-hit ball. As you see in the bottom there. Runner on second. Here's the pitch. Good pitch hit. Fouled off by Meadows. Count moves to two and two here. And we'll see if we can't bat that runner in with Meadows here. Two-two count. Here's the pitch. And a borderline strikeout looking. That's a tough, tough play. Probably should have swung, but can't change it now. And we'll lose that one to the Diamondbacks, who are beat us 3-2 there. And this year is not going the way we hoped. But there's nothing you can do but keep trucking. And as we look at our scouting here, we got him looking at second base. He's got seven new prospects, ten relievers. And as we view these guys, those are not... Oh, view... Uh, I want to see... So the number one guy here is a first baseman. And he looks amazing. We have the fifth pick, which would be a closer. This guy looks insane. I wish you could trade draft picks in the MLB, but you cannot. This kid also looks like an insane catching prospect who I wish we could get a chance at. This kid looks really good as well. A lot of very good draft class here. And a uh, closer, I don't... There's a lot of closers, of course, there is at the top. Um, So I guess we'll... Uh, what do we got him doing second base? Um, edit scouting assignment. You go look at that first baseman. Um, you, no, and you go look at that catcher, do it up, and we'll finalize it, and we'll continue on here, as we lost again, and we pick up the win there, top of the ninth, two outs, and we're losing, and we lose to the Braves, That's and Ken Giles is still out for one to two weeks, we'll activate him. And he's placed on the bench. And, yeah, this year isn't going to plan. I think we'll get pulled like, okay, we'll get a little farther here and we'll check on the status of our minor leaguers. Keep fixing that for me, please. No, I want them to keep scouting. And we got Riley Green at the plate, top of the night, down by one. And we beat the Blue Jays. 
Lang pitching time. We'll hop in and pitch here with Lang. As we're 30th in home runs. We're 4th in, or no, I'm sorry. We're 4th in home runs allowed, I believe that was. As the 9-hole hitter up. Lang pitching, strike one. And if we can get a ground ball here, we want to uh, get the double play ball to end the game. Up one. However, uh, you know, giving up one isn't the end of the world. We just go into extras. Fouled off straight back. A strikeout would be huge from Lang here. Here's the pitch. Just, he wanted it. I'll try a sinker down and in. Fouled off. 2-2 two -two count still. And he was late. We'll try a change up in the same spot I missed over the plate. Velasquez fighting here, and we'll try the fastball up and in. Here's the pitch. Fouled off. And he was just late on that. Now we'll try the change up, or the curveball again. Takes full count. Great at bat here. Nico Horner waits on deck. Fastball in. Strike three on the corner. Tough call for Velasquez. We don't care. We'll take it. Strike out for Lang. And Nico Horner, that's right down the middle. And he chops it foul, thank God. Pitcher getting tired. And that's popped up. Vargas on his horse. Reels it in. Tigers win at Comerica. And we'll take it. Badu goes two for four. Torkelson one for three. Vargas two for four. And this, we're slowly starting to get a few wins here as we beat the Cubs. Chad Green gets the loss. Lane gets saved number 11 on, on the year. And we'll continue on here. Uh, auto utilize Wilmer. And we got crushed in the other two. Scooble. <laughs> and the bullpen seems to remain the problem for us. As we're going to check on um, our AAA here. And Eric Haas struggling. Carte is really starting to get it going, though, in the minors. And he'd be a guy I'm interested in calling up. I don't know right now, but definitely probably in September. As Jake Rogers is just, I mean, he's hitting 296, I guess. Maybe he should be the starting catcher. <laughs> um, Torkelson having a phenomenal year so far. Ernesto De Los Santos, who we took in the draft last year, also having a fantastic year. I think we'll promote him to AAA, and we'll D, well, Dylan Paulson's doing fine. We will um, we'll demote someone. Jace Young is doing, his potentials went down. He had B potential before, now it's C. That's not great. Um, and Brady House is a third base prospect that we traded for last year, who's playing well, it looks like. Um, as Jonathan Staub hitting 375 in AAA, 32 at bats only. And I'd like to give him a little more time, but wow, that's impressive. As, man, we're looking for someone to send down, and I think Steel Walker is going to be the guy that goes down to double. As Darren Ortega hitting 287, four homers, eight RBIs, four steals. And I just want, yeah, I just want them to have a little more time in the minors, you know, with our current record. Ah, it's just, you know, I don't know. I We need to start winning before I'd consider. Bottom of the ninth, two outs, tie game. We'll hop in. Riley Green at the plate. One for four on the day. Hector Neris in the game. He's allowed one hit and looks like he blew the save. As Riley Green in. And Neris gets ready to deliver. Here's the pitch. Ball one. And Seth Martinez gets loose in the Astros' bullpen. Riley Green, big opportunity here for Green. In the bottom of the ninth, two outs. Here's the pitch. And fouled off. And I feel like we always jump in when we're in Comerica. We'll get Bruzdar up. I don't know the pitching situation we have, but just in case, we'll get Bruzdar up. I don't want to use Lang if it's a tie game. Good pitch to swing at, and he fouls it off. Just laid on the splitter, down and in, and we'll do it again. One and two here. Eight pitches for Neris. Good pitch to hit. Fouled off. Was not ready for the one-two fastball, but stayed alive. And we're trying to put one on that orange car out in center field here as Neris gets ready to deliver the one-two. Another one to hit, and Green bats a single to left field, and he's aboard. Keeps the line going. Wasn't a hard hit, but it was a good, good enough. And he took it the other way. 
And Miguel Vargas steps in, hitting 235, but a big spot to really turn it around here and get it going. Neris missed over the heart, and Riley Green got enough of it. And that's strike one to Vargas, outside corner. Vargas in a big spot here. Decent wheels on first from Riley Green. Here's the pitch to Vargas. And I, it check swung for some reason. Perfect timing. <laughs> I don't know why it check swung. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed by Vargas. In the dirt. Throws him out. And that'll be the third out of the inning. And Jason Foley is in. And we'll let him go against the nine hitter here before we bring Brewstar in. So that's ball one. This might be a bad managerial decision, but what are you going to do? As we'll uh, attack the slider here. Strike two to Roberts, and now a chance to put him out. Fastball up and in. Taken. That wasn't that competitive. As we'll try the slider again. Here's the pitch. Strike three. Foley punches out Roberts. And that'll bring up Kyle Tucker, and we're going to bring in Bruzdar. I don't want Foley facing the top. Kyle Tucker, phenomenal hitter. Strike one to Tucker. Big pitch from Bruce Dargraderall. And we'll bring him the slider. Down and in. Taken all the way. Tucker has a great eye at the plate. Try the slight step fastball. Fouled off by Tucker. 101 out, just off the black outside and high. And here's the sinker. Taken by Tucker. Great eye. Try cutter. Up and in. Fouled off. Fights it off. Tucker... Not going down easy here. Here's a pitch from Gratterall. Strike three. Strikes out Kyle Tucker. Two away. And Nick Gordon steps in. Here's the pitch. Strike one. He was way behind. Eric Koss pumping him up behind the plate. Fastball. Strike two from Gratterall. Here's the sinker down away. Ball one. Gratterall locating well here as he comes out of the pen in the 10th. That's inside. That hit him, but he swung strike three. <laughs> it won't take it. Austin Meadows at the plate. Vargas on second. And here's the pitch, baby. Here's the pitch. Swung through the splitter. And Meadows with a big opportunity here. A single should score Vargas as he has solid speed at second. And here's the pitch. Good pitch to hit. Pops it to first. And Meadows just doesn't get the job done again here. And that's tough. His Veeling will step in, and he's two for four. He's been red hot this year, and I almost feel like bunting's a good idea with him. I think we're going to try it, and he misses the bunt. We'll try again here. Because that was just outside. We'll send the runner. Here's the pitch. Doesn't get the butt down. We're screwed. And Vargas is tagged out. And the squeeze doesn't work. And now we're in a tough spot. As we lose the runner in scoring position, probably a bad decision in hindsight. But I wanted to risk it a little bit. And that's ball one to Veerling. There's only one way to make up for missing the bunt, and that's to keep the line going here. So we'll try that. 53-degree night here in Detroit, as you see on the scoreboard. Good pitch to hit up the middle. Going to be a ground out. And that'll end the 10th. As we'll leave Bruzdar out there now. To, and actually step off. We're going to put Jordan on. And to get the force in, we don't want to face Jordan, especially with a righty. So we'll put him on here. Corey Lee comes in to run, and now Tuve doesn't get much better, but Jordan is amazing. So, And that's strike one. And, oh, no. <laughs> Thankfully, Altuve chops it foul. And I think we'll just let Brewster go at this point, as that's ball one. Try tunneling that down and in. Altuve takes. Try the slider. Ground ball. There's one. Back to first. That's two. Great cover from Gratterall. And he gets the double play. And Brian Reynolds we will put on to get the double force here. Or to get the force at first and second. 
And Jose Abreu is on. And that doesn't get the call. That's unreal. Strike one. Bruce Dar pitching well out of the pen. I'm going to let him go until he gives me a reason not to. Slider. Chopped foul. And Abreu down to his last strike here. Fastball up and in. Oh, he wanted it. Didn't swing. And we'll tunnel the sinker down and in. Strike three from Gratterall. Let's go win this game. Come on. And Corey Lee comes in in left field. And they bring in Seth Martinez to face Ahmed Rosario, who is 0 for 4. Runner on second. It's Veerling, who runs well. And we're going to try to bunt him over. And pops a foul. I should have drove the bunt back. We're trying to small ball, and our guys just cannot get a bunt down here. Here's the pitch. Gets it down. Great bunt. Rosario moves him to third. And now we got a shot here to drive him in with one out. No force outs. Eric Cost at the plate. One for three on the day with a single and an RBI. And the infield's in. Here's the pitch. Pitch out. And we're not doing anything here. No suicide squeeze from us. I'm going to let Haas swing away. If it, yeah. If Haas gets on and we don't score, I'd consider it bunt with a nine hitter. But that's torque, so maybe not. We're swinging away. As Haas at the plate. 1-1 one, one count. Good pitch in. Driven to right. Over the head of the right fielder. Ball game over. Haas wins it for the Tigers in 11. Yeah, I think it was 11. And we win it at home in Comerica. Eric Haas with a perfect, perfect walk-off shot to right. And Bruce Dar should get the win for that. What a game. What a finish. Unreal. Yes, Bruce Dar gets the win. Three Ks, two walks, both intentional. Arias goes three for five with a homer. And Austin Meadows goes 0 for four. And that was our fourth best player. Interesting. But we'll take the win. Any win's a good win as we continue on. And Ken Giles comes back. And no, we'll keep the scouting the same. As we have bottom of the night, two outs, tie ball game again. Rosario at the plate. I think we'll sim it. And we beat the Astros, so we actually win that series. And we beat the Guardians. And we're starting to get it going here a little bit. Bottom of the ninth, why is Jace Fry in the game? As we'll hop in here and try to save this one against the Guardians. And he wins a big win for us right now. Jace Fry ending in a third. Why has he been? He's a, um, literally anyone but this situation. And what do we do here? I guess we just try here. I don't know why he would leave Fry in. And these are the decisions that make me really want to fire A.J. Hinch after this season. He did the same stuff last year, leaving pitchers in there too long. Short three, though. Fry gets the K. And now J-Ram steps up, and we're going to mound visit and bring in Cisnaro. I don't trust what... <laughs> Here's the pitch. Ball one. And we're going to try to play it safe, as safe as you can, while not walking him. And that's a shot to center, but Green was playing the wall. And that's out number three. Riley Green puts him away, and we get a chance to take the lead here in the top of ten. As... Who is this? Oh, I'm, in, I'm dumb. I'm sorry. Um, and Jake Rogers running on second. We will we'll pinch run. I guess we don't have a better option. I guess he's running. And do we bunt with Rosario here? He got it down last time, hitting 209 now on the season. And we'll try it. And that's popped foul behind the plate. That would have been a strike either way, though. This first baseman's playing way back. If we can just get this down the line, it'll be a single. And that's strike two, way high. And it's 0-2. Rosario not having the year we hoped, but I'm not giving up on him. Ball one to Rosario. We paid him a lot of money. I ex I expect better, but he'll get there. Hit and lead off today. One for four. Swung on and missed in the dirt. Retreat. Uh, maybe could have sent him. I don't know why I swung at that. Rosario punches out. Riley Green in there. 0 for 4 on the day. Big opportunity for Riley Green, though. Here's the pitch. 
Driven up the middle. Run. Why are you not running? And now we can't send him home. <laughs> what a rope, though, from Riley Green. And do we squeeze here? Who's up? Uh, Arias up. Nah, I think we, we let him swing away. I trust Arias here. Here's the pitch. Popped, and because the infield's in, that'll get down. And Arias drives in the leading run. Not the best swing, but it worked. Arias with an RBI single, and we take the lead. And I am going to get Alex Lang up, even though he probably pitched yesterday. We have a save situation. And Kerry Carpenter up at the plate. Two for four in the day. The average is starting to come up. Good pitch to hit. Fouled straight back. A little late on that. No, a little early on that. I'm sorry. Good power against righties here in Cleveland. Here's the pitch. Swung through. Was that early? Yeah, okay. Carpenter hitting 182 with runners in scoring position this year. 0-2 count. Here's the pitch. Swung through. High fastball. Good pitch. And Austin Meadows steps in. A good timing on that. 0 for 4 on the day. dh in like usual. Here's the pitch. And I'm just swinging at everything. That's my bad. That's my bad. Here we go. Lock it in. And Meadows at the plate. Here's a ball pitch. Fastball misses. 1-1 one one to Meadows here. Runners on first and second. Here's the pitch. Ah, and he early on it. Turns on the 96 mile an hour heater. Drives it down the first baseline. Just way ahead of it. One and two count. Here's the pitch. Driven to left. And it's caught by Pollock. That'll end the top. But we get the lead off the Luis Arias single. He's bounced back well for us in year two here. And we can't complain about that as we'll bring in Alex Lane to try to close this one out. Runner on second. And that's ball one. Tough. And I think we're going to walk him. Yeah, we're going to put him on. Get the force out. J-Ram on second. The chicken noise comes in. And we'll try. And they're going to try to bunt. Strike one. He didn't pull it back. And he's trying to bunt again. Way up. Oh, was that fouled? Must have been. 0-2. Oh, Here's a pitch right down the middle, but hit on the ground a second. Out at one, out at two. Two away. Great job by Lang, and we're an out away from the win here. And Valera steps in. George Valera. And that's strike one. Why do I feel like George Valera is a former Tiger? I could be completely wrong on that. Um, player stats. No, I want Guardians. George Valera. Oh, no. Okay. I'm just crazy. Got it. He got a weird batting, or weird little thing he does. Is that's ball two. Valera takes out. And this whole, it seems like this whole Guardians lineup has... That's not good. Down the middle, fouled off. Seems like this whole Guardians lineup has like two hits. This is a fastball. Strike three. Tigers win again. And we're starting to get it cooking on the season here. Big strikeout. Another save for Lang. That should be 14 on. Yes, 14 on the year. Cisnero gets the win, pitching a third of an inning. Carpenter, player of the game, two for five. We only had seven hits, but we drove in four. Got him when it mattered. Arias went two for five with an RBI and a run. And we'll take it, man. We'll take it. As now we play the Yankees. It'll be Casey Mize against Nestor. And then Julio against Schmidt. Schmidt and is Garrett Cole hurt? That seems like a spot where Garrett Cole would be pitching, but maybe not. Um, oh, maybe. Okay, maybe not. Uh, as Canley... Keep it going. And we lose to the Yankees. We lose again. Cartea gets hurt. We lose again. And we beat them in the series finale. Whistler gets the win. Scooble, jeez. I mean, it's just no run support. One run, zero runs, get shut out by the Yankees, and then nothing. And now we got an in-division matchup here, and we are not looking good right now on the season as we look Jonathan Staub still th hitting 308 Ortega hitting 290 in triple A 
I, I, I really want to see. I mean, they're 18 years old. We're not playing well. Yes, could they be the boost we need? Maybe. He's already the fifth best player in this organization. And, man, who's struggling? Like, do we? I mean, the thing is, the ERAs are all great. It's just a lack of run support. The pitching staff has been great. And should I call up Jackson Job and throw him in the bullpen? That is terrible. Do we go out and kind of? I'm kind of waiting for the trade block to pop up. As we'll we'll continue on. It's almost the All Star break here, and Carte is back in AAA. Uriah is going for a shutout, and we'll hop in. We're up five nothing. Tim Anderson at the plate. And Uriah has three hits allowed, and he really been great this year. Can't complain with Uriah's, and that's right down the middle. Strike one, <laughs> and here we go. Oh, oh Uriah, I always say it wrong. Strike two. We'll get uh, we'll get Jace Fry up just in case. Uh, but it'll take probably a little bit of a ninth inning meltdown to really make me want to pull him. A hit or two won't scare me. He's at 93, I guess. That's Quite a few pitches, as that's ball one. One and two. Try the fastball up and in. No, he takes. And two and two now to Anderson. Fouled straight back. And he was very early on the changeup. Urias with the pitch. In the hole. Rosario knocks it down. And can't make the play at first, but a great job keeping it in the infield. Saving a probable double. And I'm not upset about that. Great effort from Rosario. And strike one, that's another thing that you uh, pay a guy like that for. It's not all about the offense, which we haven't got the production. And that's a rope, and that'll probably do it. That's two good contacts. That was definitely a rope. And Luis Robert comes in here. And, you know, uh, I guess we'll let him try here. I We'll bring, uh, we'll let him try to finish it off here, I believe. I believe. Is, did he go? No swing. One and one count now. We'll try the slur down and in. Strike two, great pitch. Obviously the pitcher is getting tired. Fastball up and in, taking. They do not chase that very often. As we'll try to change up and that missed everything that I wanted it to. Abani is playing first today. Love that. We'll try that slurve again, and I messed that up, but it works. And he's out there. Throw it. Ah, we didn't get it to second on time. One out, though, and Gavin Sheets steps in. He hits well. A lot of power. Ground ball, but I don't know how he hits lefty-lefty, I guess. Good power, but I don't know about the contact. Change up. Doesn't get the call. Tough, tough. And we're in Comerica again, I just realized. Pop up to center field, and we'll get to see the arm of Riley Green here. As they don't send him. What a great throw from Green. He would have been out by a mile, I believe. And that's two away, and now we'll let Urias really try to finish it off here. Vaughn at the plate. Fastball. Doesn't get the call. Tough break for Urias. Two-seamer strike one. We'll try a fastball up and in. Strike two. He swung. And now we got him where we want him. Bottom of nine. Ball one, two, sorry. And we'll try this pitch. Down and away. Strike three. I don't know what he was swinging at. And when the Tigers win, Urias throws a complete game shutout. Again, I don't know how many that is for him on the year. And it doesn't look like we hit great again, but we won. <laughs> and we need to just keep winning. We're not winning a lot. And, man, Urias has been the ace we wanted, though. And can't complain about that. As bottom of the eight, Torkelson has two home runs. We win 10-1 to one against the Rockies. Soroka going for a shutout. We'll sim that one, and he gets it. And we'll stop here and look at scouting as we look at the prospects. Recently scouted. I mean, I don't know what we're looking at. These guys look terrible. Like, where is this guy ranked? Yeah, why? why is... So if we go, is there like edit scouting assignment? I guess look in the west for, for where's that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and I mean this catcher looks absolutely insane. And he's from where? 
Cuba. So I guess we need to look international. So you look international for that catcher. And you look international as well. Now let's do that. As we are 35 and 48, we're 5 and 5 in our last few games. So, I mean, we're getting there. Is Matt Manning working on a no hitter? Uh, we'll see. And we win 4 to 3. I'm assuming he didn't get it. <laughs> we'll keep him active. And he's back now. And Scooble is 5 and 9 with a 3 1 7 ERA. That's tough. That is really tough. Is still not getting the bats going like we want. Matt Manning. Tears or strains his peck. He's out one to two weeks. We'll put him on the 15 day. And now we can call up Jackson Job and throw him into the rotation. As he'll get promoted and start here for us. Um, Jackson Job. And yeah, that's fine. I mean, our starting rotation has been phenomenal. The bullpen has been really rough. And it seems like that's where we, Alex Lang, Lang has been good. And Bruce Dar has not been. But it seems like that is our problem. As we look at all-star voting, and do we have anyone? Um, no. Not yet. Um, as we look at starting pitchers, and no one. Probably because all their... Oh, no, Julio Urias Ur 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 should make the all-star team. Um, relievers, I closers... Wow, Alex Lang probably won't even make it. And he's had a great year so far. Um, no catchers, I'd assume. Uh, no first baseman. No second baseman. No third baseman. No shortstop, surprisingly. We have a few goods. I mean, I don't know how you could call him a all-star. He's hitting 206, but... <laughs> we look at left fielders and no one here for us. Center fielders, no one that I see. Yeah. Uh, right fielders, Lane Thomas. He must be a... Oh, the Yankees traded for him. He's a right field prospect hitting 324. Is Aaron Judge DHing for them? Like, what? <laughs> Giancarlo also. So the Yankees have three right field all-stars more than likely. That is insane. And we don't have any. <laughs> so there's that as we got two days before the all-star break and fix that for me. And it's the player, the first year player draft. And we have the fifth pick. And where we pick, we'll just kind of see. We'll just go to the draft and we'll see what happens here. I doubt that catcher makes it to us. I doubt the first baseman does. But you never know. As here we go. And the first pick by the... Is that the Royals? Yes, by the Royals is... Rory Butler, the first baseman. 18-year-old high school athlete. And that's a probably a great pick for them. I'm assuming that kid's a stud. As here's the second pick. And it is, I'm assuming that's that catcher. And it is not. They went with Neil Gorzelski, starting pitcher, 21-year-old. And I don't know how good he's going to be. And is there any way the catcher slips through the cracks to us? I doubt it. I think that's him. Carroll, I think that was him. No, Lewis Carroll, and he looks like he could be a stud. <laughs> We're a pick away. Does the catcher make it is the question. Does he make it? No, what? Where is he? All right. What? No, there's it. And they take Rich Luke, starting pitcher. Wasn't there a prospect, a top prospect catcher that we were looking at? I swear there was. Yeah, this kid. Apparently, we didn't do any scouting of him. And the draft has this kid ranked second. We have him 25th. Oh, so after scouting him, they found he's not that good. Um, as we look at relievers here, and this kid, we have him draft rank 8. Man. Starters, we have this kid draft rank 9. Where is our top rated guys here? As we look, and it's this closer. But we have Alex Lang. I mean, this kid's going to be good. I know that. Um, 
Yeah, I don't. I didn't want a closer though. That's a problem. I don't want to take a closer here. <laughs> That's the guy we projected, Elvis Dominguez, and he looks good. Like closers, all these closers look good. Um, but that's not what we're looking for. Is this kid doesn't look that great? This kid looks okay. Todd Jefferson, 18 year old, out of Florida, five nine. He'd be another short outfielder for us. Here's a catcher. And man, he looks better than anyone. I don't want to take a closer, but do we take a closer and just throw him in the bullpen? Like, is that what we do here? And if so, Elijah Herzog, terrible velocity. He's 21. This kid's 19, and he looks like he's the better all-around player. He's our draft rank 5. This kid is 21 also. I think we're going to take Elvis. And he is 19. He's a lefty out of the pen. And hopefully you made the right pick there. <laughs> As of the prospects and the third baseman here. And this kid looks good. Six-footer, bats lefty, throws righty. He's our draft rank 64. Ozzy Pinheiro here. I don't think we need starting pitching, though. Andy Ward. And didn't we see him really? I think this third baseman's a move. Eugene Ra Ramos. Ramos. And he's healthy, and we love to see that. As now the next pick, Ronnie Talley, still chilling here. I mean, he throws hard. He's going to throw hard. He's 22. He's not going to have great potential. He's not probably going to be that good. He's not going to be a good fielder. But he can throw hard. <laughs> um, as we look around, uh, this catcher looks solid. Richie Lopez out of Venezuela, 18-year-old. He's our 75th draft rank. And I think we're going to take Richie here. And take the chance, man. As you remember last year, we didn't even get to sign our first overall pick. It was Jeffrey Hartley, a guy we scouted. Great control, not the best speed. He's not rated by the MLB out of high school. 6'2", 2 -0. He's a big kid out of Kansas here. He's our 95th rank at 107 here. This kid is draft rank 95. We have him a little lower. He does not look like he's going to be that good. Um, this kid, not great. I think, man, do we just go with who we think is the best one here? And uh, where the heck did he go? Jack Estes. That wasn't him. Where is he? <laughs> this one, Jeffrey Hartley. <sighs> I think we do. He wasn't rated by the MLB. We have him 95th. We're going to take him. High school kid. We, we, we take the high school kids. We have no more top 100 prospects. So now we look through here, and we're just kind of Benedict de Jesus. That is a dope name. Do we take him off his name? He's going to be fast, I'm assuming. He's not rated by the MLB. We have him 114. Really makes me question our scouting department <laughs> as we have another Ortega outfielder here, and he looks like he could be okay. He actually looks like he could be a steal. From Vermont, of all places. We're going to take Elmer, Elmer Ortega. Another Ortega joins the Tiger family. And with our last pick here, Benedict De Jesus just wants me to pick him, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, we don't really need another outfielder. Do we just look for a hard throwing reliever? That could, and this looks like it. 18 year old out of Cuba, 5'10, 174, but 94 to 99 velocity. He's going to throw missiles. Not rated again by the MLB. And this, wait, this kid, well, he's. Yeah, he's going to be a project. We'll take – this kid's going to be a project too, but we'll take him. Eduardo Calzado out of Cuba, and that'll be it for the draft, first-year player draft. As we'll sim through this game, and Dylan Dingler finally back in the Double A All-Star game. Do we have anyone in this? We do not, so we won't do it again this year. If we get someone in it, I'd love to do it, and we won't – and the Cardinals are sending us a trade. Eric Haas, why does everyone want Eric Haas so bad? For a, a decent prospect pitcher, Matthew Liber, Liberator, I don't know how to say it, Liberator. But we're going to pass. We don't need starting pitching. That's probably the least thing that we need to add, I would say. And we'll send the All-Star game. The NL beats the AL again. We'll continue through that. Um, and yes, today is the first day we can sign draft picks. As we look at starting pitchers, Julio Uriah has made it. 
relief pitcher Michael King was the only AL reliever, I guess. Closer, they brought Alex Lang made it. They brought one, what six closers? Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. And no catchers, no first baseman, no second baseman, no third baseman, no fourth baseman, fourth baseman, no short stops maybe. <laughs> what is a fourth base baseman? And wow. So we had two All-Stars. As we look at our draft picks here, and Elvis is going to take some work, and we do not want to lose him like we did last year, our first pick. So we're going to offer Jeffrey Hartley here. We'll bump it up a little bit. And Jeffrey Hartley signs right away. Love to see it. Um, and now we'll throw in Eduardo Calzado, who is actually our last pick. Um, and we'll actually, I'm not real worried about him. Richie Lopez I do want to sign, though. And we'll finalize that, and hopefully we can, you know, get it going a little bit here as we get these guys a little more interested. And let's try to get going here as Jackson Job will be on the mound against the Yankees. You can fix that roster. Critical situation, and Lang will do it, I believe. And we beat the Yankees, and Navigato out two to three months. Throw him on the 60-day. Fix that for me, and, yes, stop the sim. We lose. Rony Garcia gets the loss. And, man, is it our bullpen? Like, ugh, Soroka did not have a good start. But then you look at the bullpen, and it's just as bad. <laughs> I mean, wow, all the way through. So it really makes me wonder, like, we're only 13 games under 500, though. We, we're we not out of it. We're just not really in it, you know? And Cartea, he's probably the future answer at catcher, but... Torque is having a great year at first. Arias is cold and still hitting 288. Vargas is not having a great year. If he's hot and hitting 228, I'm worried. <laughs> Brady House having a great year in AAA. Jonathan Staub has been phenomenal. Why is he not? Why does he only have 81 at bats? Why would Gage Workman be playing over him? That's we got to go check our AAA lineup. Is Ortega is having a phenomenal year in AAA like we figured he would. That kid's gonna be a machine. And he'll be up in no time. I don't doubt it. Um, Vierling having a great year. We got a lot of promise here. If we can get it going in the second half of the year, McKinstry's useless on this team. Um, if we can get it going in the second half of the year, as we'll finalize that, that's fine. Um, I really like, as we look at top, we have the number one and number two top prospects. And the number eight. We, so the farm system is looking great. We're starting to build the farm system, which is step one in rebuilding this team. As we look through here and just kind of checking everything out, making sure everything's good. Uriah is a 6-4 with a 2-4-9 ERA. I mean, is he in the running for the Cy Young? Maybe not because of his win-loss record. Um, no, he's not because he's not winning a lot of games. But still... He's uh, been phenomenal as we'll continue on trying to sign these draft picks. I trust Lang, and we beat the Yankees 3-2 again. We beat the Guardians there. Urias gets it. So every time Urias pitches, we win. And we finally have trade block here. And David Bednar is out here. O'Neal Cruz is out here on the Mets. And I'm intrigued. O'Neal Cruz is electric. I don't know why he's on the Mets. I don't know why the Pirates would trade him. Cal Rayleigh, another guy. We're going to try to move, make a move for O'Neill Cruz. They are so negative in cap space. Holy God. And Ahmed Rosario, who has been absolutely terrible this year. Well, we can't even trade with them. How are we supposed to trade with them? They have no money. <laughs> what are we supposed to do? Oh, so they can, they can only do a prospect trade. Okay. I see. And do we move on from Miguel Vargas, who has had easily the worst year ever, but we get such an upgrade. We need to move one of these infielders in this trade more than likely. Because O'Neal only plays short and third. And Vargas kind of, well, Vargas plays left, I guess. He could stay. I think Torque plays the outfield also. Do we have someone, any one of these guys that can play first? I mean, you got to realize that we're going to have these two coming up also. So do we try to move? They can't take that contract on. They're not quite interested enough. Jay Jung puts it close. I don't really want to get rid of him, though. 
They can't afford, and we signed you right. Yeah, we signed him to a long term deal. They, okay. I think we go Vargas. And I can't do Rosario. And we go. Why can you not afford anyone, bros? <laughs> can we? I know you don't have money. And Vargas and Gage Workman, I think, would be a good move. And we're going to do it. O'Neill Cruz coming to Detroit. That is a huge addition to this team. Unreal pickup for us. And welcome O'Neill Cruz, who should start at third, right? Yeah, maybe. As we move on from Miguel Vargas, but we get such a good athlete and player in O'Neill Cruz. Great power. He can honestly probably bat. Uh, he can bat third against righties for sure. Um, as Austin Meadows has been absolutely horrendous. Mikel Cabrera hit 195. <laughs> and against righties, I think Austin Meadows needs to be benched because he's terrible. Rosario is getting a bump down. Um, Torque can play the outfield. Um, but outfield is kind of our weak spot. I mean, these guys are fine. As, yeah, it doesn't matter. And then against lefties, O'Neal Cruz, he does not hit lefties at all. <laughs> we'll bat him ninth because he's so fast. Double leadoff type deal. I don't really want to go back-to-back -back lefties, so we'll move Torque to eight against lefties. Rosario, yeah. Haas is way up. I love that. Arias hitting two against lefties is eh. And we just made a huge pickup there. And Eugene Ramos, what's his slot value? Is 914K. We'll offer any signs. So we get Eugene Ramos, or Ramos, however you want to say it. And now we'll throw Calzado in there. And we need these guys to start gaining interest. As we look at contract extensions... And what does Scuba want? 14.5 mil. That ain't cheap. And Cruz, what does he want? He's renewable next year. So, I mean, we could extend him for one year. Worth whatever. Something like that. He's going to be a star player on this team. And he wants more money, I'd assume. And there we go. O'Neal Cruz back for another year. As Alec Lang, Alex Lang is out here, five million a year. What is his arbitration too? So we'll probably just stick with that. Casey Mize has two years left. He wants an eight million dollar deal. Bruzdar has one year left. He wants a four point two million. He has not pitched good enough to get that deal yet. Matt Manning's got a few years. We'll probably wait on a lot of these guys. He's Eric Haas has a few years. What does Austin Meadows want? Three million a year. I don't think he's worth it. He hasn't produced for us. Got a lot of guys with a lot of arbitration left. We'll probably just keep try to keep him on those contracts. Um, Ronnie Garcia, Jace Fry. I'm just seeing if we have any free agents that we need to call up. Well, can I just extend? How long do you have renewable? Three years. Hitting 504 at bats in AAA. That's pretty good. And I'd be willing to. We'll we'll do that in the off season, Mickey. What does he want? One year? Do we? We'll do that in the offseason. He'll definitely resign. Andy Ibanez, Ibanez. I don't even know if we'll bring him back. But what an addition we just made. And do we go out and try to get another reliever in David Bednar? I just don't know how he helps us right now. Pete Fairbanks is out here. Gavin Sheets would be interesting, but I don't know where he would fit in. Brock Burke, no thanks. And not a lot of great relievers that I'm seeing right now. I'm not real intrigued by any of these guys. Oop, I didn't want to do that. As we will continue on a little farther here. Bottom of the ninth. Runners on first and second. We trail by one. Two outs and Veerling at the plate. We'll hop into this one. As Veerling at bat. Badu and Araya is on first. And here we go. Runners on first and second in Comerica, of course. We always seem to be in Comerica. And here's a pitch. Fouled back 102 from Munoz against the Guardians. Big division game here for us. Here's the pitch. Driven. Oh, he fights it off. Can Veerly beat it out? He will. Base is loaded. And this should be O'Neill Cruz. 
And it's Ahmed Rosario against Emmanuel Class A. Is O'Neal off today? Or did they move him? Or is it a lefty? It might be a lefty. Here's the pitch. Strike one. That cutter is insane. Rosario, one for four on the day. Here's the pitch. Strike two. Oh, and two quickly in the hole. And Class A throws gas, man. 92 is the slowest pitch, so we got to be ready to jump on it. Driven to center! On the run! He's in! We win! Walk off! Ahmed Rosario wins it for the Tigers in the bottom of the ninth. What a hit! What a job! Now I'm kind of glad we hung on to him. Ahmed Rosario walks it off in Comerica. 0 2 count, drives it through the middle. Wow! That was electric. And the Tigers get the win. And I've lost my breath. Austin Meadows goes two for three. He heard me talking crap. Knows we won't extend him. O'Neill Cruz goes two for three. And is this a new age, Tigers? Are we starting to turn it around? Is, I think we will get through this Red Sox series and we will call it an episode here. And yes, we'll stop. Is Jackson Job 2 0 on the year? And we'll look to sign. And none of these guys are even close. So we hope we got to hope we can get a bunch more interest. And if there's a way that you guys know that'll be that I can get more interest or whatever, please let me know in the comments because I don't know if there's anything I can do to make them gain interest at all. And I feel like we already made our big move. So we'll continue on here. I mean, oh, we have an who's back. Is oh Matt Manning's healthy and two Jackson Job's two and zero oh. man I don't want to option him but like he has all three we're gonna option Matt Manning down to Triple A call me crazy I am but as we'll call up Daniel Cabrera to Double A call me crazy but I'm gonna roll with the hot hand Jackson Job is two and zero oh. he's got a two six three ERA we're just gonna roll with the hot hand I'm not saying Matt Manning is bad or gone or anything we're just gonna roll with the hot hand for right this second and we do not have a how do we not have a valid pitching rotation why would you take jackson job out of the rotation <laughs> um as we'll continue on here and luis garcia returns to the double a and they have too many players alex lang trying to get the close we'll hop in here <clears throat> And Devers at the play. That's not easy. I don't know why he brought Lang in so early. It's raining. I heard thunder. Strike one. Devers at the play. Here's the pitch. Trying to win. Finally on the road in Fenway. And there's a ground ball on the hole. Ibanez makes the play. Game over. We win again. Beating the Red Sox. And that's another win for this team. Urias goes eight innings, gives up eight hits, three earned, nine Ks, though. And he just continues to be great. Gets the win. Lang gets another close. And we will continue on here. Fix that for me. And we can sign draft picks. We win again. Scooble has really picked it up. And while all of a sudden, we're eight games under 500. And we're starting to look good here. We trade for O'Neill Cruz. And the question is, do we make another trade i don't think we do i like where we're at right now yes we could definitely improve our bullpen i think that's still our biggest problem bednar would be an upgrade but i just don't really know if that's what we want if we need to make that move yet as we'll finish this and soroka on the mound and we beat the white Sox again and then we lose to them jackson Job gets his first loss as we'll send through this date and the Orioles are offering Scooble for Grayson Rodriguez and Felix Bautista. Man. Scooble, who is a free agent in a couple years. Felix Bautista here, 28-year-old closer who would give us bullpen depth right away. He's got – he throws gas. And what a, who's um Grayson Rodriguez? <laughs> A young left or righty prospect with five good pitches, but that kind of makes a log jam. Scooble has pitched well in the second half of the season, and he's so he's 27. Oh, 
We're not going to do it. I'm so tempted, but we're not going to do it. And we're going to see our draft picks here. And we're getting closer to Elvis Dominguez. Um, I really want to sign him. He looks so good. The more we scout him, the more excited I get about him. And maybe we'll go a little farther here. We'll get to the signing deadline here. Veerling fractures his leg. And we're going to have to call someone up. And you know what? With that, I think we're going to call this one an episode, boys. And we'll try to finish these signing these draft picks in the next episode. But until next time, it's been the captain. And peace!